Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. It's nice to have you joining class today. Uh, my name's Nate. If you haven't been in one of my classes before, I am from Nevada and happy that you joined me. Today we're going to have a great class, uh, which is um, we're going to be talking about some new animals. Oh, you're fast, Sebastian. Second place. Hello, Manuel. How are you? Welcome to class. Yeah, fine. Wonderful. Happy to see a lot of people joining class today. It's going to be a very interesting class. I'll be your teacher for the next two hours. And we have some very interesting topics we're going to talk about. So I'm happy you're here. It's good to see everybody. I think there's some, some students I know, some new students it looks like. Glad to have you here. My name's <coughs> Nate, if you haven't had my class before. I am from the state of Nevada, which is over kind of by California on the west coast. And for our classes today, we're going to start with the class talking about some new animals. Hey, hey Roz, how you doing? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we have room for one more person, maybe, and then we'll get started. Do you have a nice New Year, Sebastian? Yeah. Good. I eat a lot. <laughs> that was your goal, right? So you got it. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm yeah, still eating. More person, maybe. Yeah, I noticed that in the last class. <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice New Year, Sebastian. Well, yeah, uh, before sorry, we what? start today, um, I'd like to ask everybody to please use earphones. If you use earphones, then we'll cut down on the echo. So if everybody could go and grab some earphones, that would be great. And um, also, I always try to encourage people to please use the mute on your microphone if you are not speaking. That will help us all to have a fantastic class today. Later on today, we'll also be using um, a presentation, which I usually like to use in my classes. Uh, it has some pictures and reading that goes with it. It's called 10 new animals, I think, or 10 recently discovered animals. Feel free to download that document. Uh, it, there's a link on the class, and also, let's see if it's still on my clipboard. There's a copy of it right there, too, in the chat. Roz, it's good to see you. Well, let's start with, uh, let's start with our introductions. I'm so happy to see everybody. It's 2013. Before we start, I just want to say Happy New Year to everybody all around the world. It's a new year. We can do Thank you. Happy New Year, too. Thank you. Thank you, Cornelis. Thank you. Let's start. Uh, Cornissa, would you like to introduce yourself? I don't think we've ever met. No, we've never met. So I'm Cornissa from Morocco. I'm 20 years old. And um, I'm glad to join your class. Thank you very much. Did you have a nice New Year? Yeah, actually Good. I did. With Good. family and uh, great. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining class. Essa, welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Essa. I'm from Kazakhstan. and. And I'm so I'm very interested in your class. I want to I want to see the uh, weird animals. <laughs> there are some that are very strange. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Godeman, welcome. Thank you. Where are you from, Godeman? Uh, I'm from uh, Denmark. But uh, I okay. I'm originally from Congo, but I live in Denmark. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining class. It's it's nice to meet you. Me too. I'm happy to be in your class. I always feel happy to join your class. So. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, Ismail, welcome. 
Oh. Oh, and he's gone. He's gone. Okay. Manuel. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Manuel. I live in Spain, more, more exactly in Canary Island. Uh, oh. I am 40, 46 years old. Uh, uh, I, I use this web page for improve my English and listening and speaking. I am very glad to to be here with you, uh, with the student. Thank you very much. Canary Islands, that sounds like a beautiful place to live. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Nike, did I say your Nike. name right? Nike. Would you say it again, please? Nike. Nike, welcome. Yeah. Okay, uh, happy new year for everyone. <laughs> I'm from Thank Spain you. too, but from the north of Spain, so here is raining today. <laughs> and I'm very happy to join, join your class too. <laughs> well, thank you for joining. It's, it's nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you too. Thank you. Once again, I'll just introduce myself. My name's Nate. I'm uh, from Nevada in the United States. And. Uh, I guess if you have any questions, you can ask them about me. I mean, I'm just me. <laughs> Mr. Well, Sebastian. Hello, Nate. Hello, sir. I haven't seen you since the last year. Yeah, oh it's been God. a whole year, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hi, everyone. Happy New Year. I'm from Santiago, Chile. And I'm I'm so excited of this class because I I love animals so. It's actually really cool. I think you're gonna like it. I have to ask you something, uh, Sebastian. I was watching YouTube videos, and I saw one that had a bicycle race. It was Valparaiso bicycle race, and they. <gasps> have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's yeah, those amazing. guys were really really brave. That was cool. Yeah, because Valparaiso is just mountains. The, yeah. All the all, all the city of the city is is up. It's like, or you you have to go up or down. You you're never yeah. going <laughs> in a straight line. So yeah, they're going to the, the to the top of the of Valparaiso and then in, on bike. And that's awesome. I am. I mean, they're wow. yeah. The video I saw, they almost ran over a dog too. I was like, oh. yeah, yeah, I saw that too. I saw the video. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And last but not least, our friend Scotty, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Wonderful. Do you want to introduce yourself to the class, please? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Samia. I'm from uh, Case A. Um, uh, I hope to love animals, but I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> You, do you like animals? No, I hope. Okay, you hope to like some. Okay, well, <laughs> yes. I have, well, let's, uh, let's begin our conversation today talk a little bit about animals before we find the new ones. Um, what type of animals are you most interested in? What animals do you guys like the most? Uh, uh, I, I just... Uh, sorry, sorry, continue. No, no. Uh, for for me, the, my preferred animals uh, are, uh, are the animals who who live in the sea. For example, shark, uh, dolphins. This is my favorite uh, type of animal. Okay, uh, I'm going to type a, a vocabulary word for you. Yeah. In English, uh, those could be categorized as marine animals. Marine animals. Marine animals. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Esther, did you want to mention something? Uh, yes, um, I, I like I like horse and tiger only, and I don't like dog, even cats. Oh, okay. So horses, tigers, things like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyone else have a type of animal they like, or want to talk about their favorite animal before we start? Yes, I yeah, like lion. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Go no, go. no, I'm sorry. Go, yeah. We'll go Goodman and then Naike. Yeah, I like uh, lion and like hamster. Lions and oh. hamsters? Yeah. <laughs> I bet lions like hamsters too, to eat them. 
No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> not for eating, just uh, the way they are. So I think they are very nice and more. So even the lion also, they yeah, are king of the king, king of yeah. the animal. King, yeah. Uh, in English, the phrase is king of the jungle, I think. Well, okay, king of the jungle. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Naike. Uh, and, uh, Naike, you're... Uh, Let's go Naike like. first, and then Aikut, you can go after Naike, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, I love horse, and I hate insect. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, beware, because today there are a few insects. Maybe you won't <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> so just be careful, okay? Okay. Uh, Aikut, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Turkey. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, my favorite animal is raven. Do you know raven? Yeah, a uh, black bird, right? Yeah, raven. Okay. Uh, smart, smart animal. Yeah, they are very smart. Um, I've read a story about a raven, how ravens go and they'll collect uh, shiny objects, like coins yeah. or things like that, and they collect them. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And, uh, and I hate the pig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Uh, for me, I'll just share my opinion. I like uh, what's called the big cats. So, like panthers or jaguars. Puma. Uh, like pumas. Yes. Yeah. I think those are very interesting. Powerful yeah. animals. Uh, but like um, Manuel Angel, I really like marine animals too. Yes. Yeah. Sharks yeah. And, and dolphins, things like that. Uh, this is the reason is why because I live in an island in an island and there are <clears throat> there are a lot of uh, marine animals in the near the coast so uh, spectacular spectacular with animal with marine animals uh, uh, I like this this type of animal. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, is crocodile marine animal? Um, a, a crocodile is what's called, I'm going to type it. Uh, my spelling, my, let's see here. Amphibious. It's amphibious. It's a reptile, but it could be called amphibious. Amphibious means it lives part on the land and part of the time in the water. It can live Amphibious in is at birth? No, amphibious is an animal that lives sometimes on land and sometimes in the water. Like the okay. like a frog. A yeah, frog like is an amphibious. A frog's amphibian. Um, sometimes the salamanders are amphibian. Turtle. Turtle. Oh yeah, turtles. Uh, tortoises. Hippopotamus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hippo. Hippos. Yes. Yeah. So animals like that, absolutely. Well, why don't we open up our um, our pictures, and here we go. Naike, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because <laughs> number one, oh. you're not going to like. I'm just telling you, you're not going to like the first one. Um, let me see if I can get the Google Drive. Just the name is, whoa. Okay. Is, is this yeah. showing? Is this showing for you? Yeah. Ten recently yeah. discovered animals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. And number ten. <laughs> the Goliath bird-eating spider. Now look at that guy. Oh my God! Bird-eating. Yeah. Now one thing all of these animals have in common is they were just recently discovered. So in the last few years. Scientists have gone to discover, you know, there, there are always new things being discovered. And um, really there are some from all parts of the world. There's a type of fish, we have insects, um, a bird, if I remember, mammals, all kinds. So they're pretty cool. Who would like to read about the Goliath bird-eating spider? Can I read? You can. Let's do it. Excuse me, what is the document? Um, are you able to see it on your screen right now? On the screen? If not, mm. um, I'm going to 
I just put the a link to the document in the chat in, in, in the, the chat. Yeah. chat. Yeah, okay. Okay. In the bubbly. Shall I start? Yes, please. I've opted to put this monstrous creature number 10 for one very sim simple reason. It terrifies me. It terrifies me so much that I didn't want to grant it the honor of placing it any higher. The species was officially discovered in 2006 during an expedition to Guyana. It is a burrowing spider feeding primarily on invertebrates though it has also been observed eating small mammals, lizards and venomous snakes. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Fully grown specimens can reach a horrific weight uh, of around six ounces. Thankfully for us and for any other creatures too, too large for the spider to eat. The Golia bird eater is a species of tarantula and has real, a relatively weak venom which causes milk swelling and pain for a few hours. But the thing that poses the biggest threat to us humans is the Golia's ability to expel articulating hairs from its body. These tiny, nearly invisible hairs float through the air and have a no-full tendency to stick in the eyes. Oh my god, it's terrible. Yeah, that is a terrible animal, isn't it? Well, I mean, no. he's just doing his job. He's just trying to live. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but um, to live on our expense. Yeah, Cornisa. Uh, where are you from, Cornisa? Uh, you like uh, English? No, I'm Moroccan. Bri I'm oh, Narad. Okay. You speaking like a uh, Britain, British? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You read yeah. your reading was very good. Thank you, Cornisa. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's Thank talk you. about this document. Uh, are the I think a great thing about reading is you can learn so much vocabulary, and so I'd yeah. like to ask: Is there are there any words which you'd like me to explain from this document? What is? Please, can you? Ex okay. Go ahead. Lizards. Lizards. Okay. Lizards. Uh, lizards are small reptiles. Uh, they have four feet um, and usually a long tail. They have scales or hard things on their body to protect them. They look like a very small dinosaur. Okay. Um, who is asking me this? What does Naike? milled swelling yes. mean, please? N Naike, you were asking me about lizards? Eh, lagarto, lagarto in español. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, no problem. Okay, who is next? I have the same Can question. My, my is swelling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, swelling yeah. is when um, you have something that puffs up. Um, like it, if you're bitten and you get an infection, it gets bigger. Inchar mm -hmm. is to swell. Okay. okay. And so mild mm -hmm. swelling would be not very serious, but. Um, so, uh, yeah, medium swelling, it swells up. Inflammation is definitely another way to say that. Yes, thank you, Ross. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Any other words we could look at? Uh, uh, awful. Awful? Uh, awful, awful, awful. Awful is, is like terrible. Terrible. Uh, yeah, it's awful. like terrible. So it says they have an awful tendency. So it's saying this is a very bad or a, a negative, terrible tendency to mm. stick in the eyes. These little, Whoa. Whoa. yeah. So you don't want hair in your eyes, especially. I don't want spider hair in my eyes. That's something I try to avoid. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go on to let's go to the next one. This one's kind of weird. A Louisiana pancake batfish. I love the names. <laughs> yeah, Louisiana it's pancake. very descriptive. It's kind you know of like yeah. delicious. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's delicious or not, but uh, you, you know what a pancake, pancake. is, right? Yeah. yeah. For breakfast, okay. And then I don't know why it's called. I think it might be called a batfish because bats are famous 
for not having very good vision. They have to go around doing other things uh, using sonar and stuff. And you can see this does not have very well developed eyes. Yeah. So yeah. I'm guessing that's where where he got his name. Let's read about him. Who'd like to read? I I'd like to. Okay, Sebastian, take a turn then, my friend. The uh, Luciana. Now, listen, yeah, this okay. you're gonna have some scientific words here. <laughs> yeah, I know Good luck. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Lucian the pancake batfish. <clears throat> Belonging to the Oxocephidelidae the blasters the fifth <laughs> family of batfish. <laughs> The Luciana pancake batfish is a bizarre looking creature native to the Gulf of Mexico. The species was discovered in 2010 during the cleanup process follow following the infamous oil spill in the Gulf which affected every kind of batfish. Wow, that is bad. That is the Yeah, did you hear about this oil spill? Yeah. Yeah, it was yes. it was very serious. A lot of oil uh, and actually, a lot of animals died in that. So that's that disaster. Was this species was discovered by the, the cleaning process. So it's so so sad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I guess on the other hand, it was something positive that came out of the bad. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. 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 The Luciana pancake batfish names come from its its shape, which quite closely resembles that of a horrendously prepared pancake. <laughs> <laughs> the strange manner it has of moving along the ocean floor is described as being similar to the way a bat cr crawls. Oh. oh, the pancake batfish feeds on invertebrates, which it uses chemical lures to capture. Very tricky. Oh. Thank you, Sebastian. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Uh, any vocabulary questions on that one? Yeah, chemical lures, lures, lures. Okay. I don't know what. Uh, chem you know what a chemical is, right? Yes. Okay. A lure is when you have something to attract your prey. So some some animals will use a certain color uh, to attract its prey. Other animals may use um, a chemical. Light also. Yeah, light or something, and and. Other animals are curious, or they like it, so they go towards that, and it it enables this batfish to capture their the prey. Oh, batfish! Batfish, they're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, this is one. Uh, it was discovered after a tragedy, you know, uh, after seeing so many animals and and plants and things really ruined by this oil spill but it was discovered because there were so many people in that area of the world uh, trying to clean up and, and so it got found so I guess I guess we could say that's something positive okay yeah let's take a look at the next one this one's kind of uh, cool. I have, I have a question. Bam. Oh, okay. Uh, Manuel has a question. Uh, actually, Go ahead. I, would, I would like to know the, the means of lures. Lures? Lures. Lures. Like this? Yes. That is a way to attract your prey oh. or your enemy, uh, oh. like light or chemical or, oh. you know, a fisherman uses lures to catch fish. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Are there any other questions? Okay. We could take a look at this guy, Walters Dweeker. I I don't know Dweeker Dweeker. I don't know how to say that word, to tell you the truth. But uh, what does this animal look like to you? Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> Yeah, it does like look a deer. like a, it does look like a deer, doesn't it? Yeah. Or maybe related to an elk. Uh, some of you said you liked horses. This may be um, related to a horse. I'm not sure. Uh, but do you think it's big or small? Small. Yeah. 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 Ye
small. It's yeah. middle. Yeah, I think it's it is size. What was that? Uh, a ship size, size, like a ship, no? Like a ship? Ship, yeah. The same size, I guess. That would be really big. Well, let's read about it and see. I want to give everybody a chance to read who would like to, and so we're going to just keep moving on a little bit. Uh, would someone like to volunteer to read this? Yes, I would like. Okay, go ahead, Godeman. Yeah. Uh, what does drink uh, is a fascinating fascinating a little creature officially discovered in 2010 in the Dahomey Gap, West Africa. The species made its first foray into the world of science in 1968 when Walter Verheyen, the man after whom the species is named Retrieved a specimen in Togo. This species of Duinka is a native to Togo, Benin, and Nigeria. One of the most interesting characteristics about the species is uh, its small stature, measuring an average of only 40 centimeters. 16 inches height and typically weighing 4 to 6 kilograms. In addition to its small height, the drinker has hand legs which are longer than their counterparts up front. This is particularly interesting given that the drinker is not a grazing animal and typically feeds on berries and other similar items of nourishment which grow on plants. Thank you. Very good, Godeman. Thank you. Um, I have some questions, but first let's make sure that uh, we don't have any vocabulary questions on this. Are there any words you would like me to clarify? What is a retrieved? Retrieved. Could you type it, please? Okay. Yeah. Oh, retrieved, I think. Yeah, retrieved, yeah. The, the, that is. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, like this? Yeah, that's that. To retrieve something is like to collect. Okay. Um, I want to answer a question for Sammy on the chat. We are uh, reading slide number seven right now. Thank you, Essa, for helping out there. So what is a counterpart? A counterpart is uh, someone with you uh, or somebody similar to you. In this case, is some uh, another animal similar to this one. So it okay. says... Uh, it was talking about the legs. Its hind legs were longer than their front counterparts. So that meant um, its hind legs were longer than his front legs. So what does that mean? Feeds on berries. berries? Because uh, it is a speed. It's so speed because. Excuse me? Uh, because it is uh, so speed, maybe. Uh, the uh, uh, their feet uh, is longer than front, and the back longer than front. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, that that's a great guess. Berries to answer your question, Godeman, uh are small, juicy fruits that grow on plants. Oh and yeah. Of, and a lot of times, the animals will eat those. How does it run? Does this run like? Uh, Bambi. Um, you know, it does not say. It's very small. So I don't know if he runs a lot. I would think it kind of walks. I mean, it probably can run. Uh, <laughs> they I'll are a new honest, animal. Yeah, it's new, and so maybe a lot of people are still learning things about it. Um, 
why don't we, I have a question. Um, so this looks like a lot like a deer, right? Do people hunt animals a lot in your country? Um. For example, in Spain, there are the uh, longer tradition, many years ago. Uh, the people go to the to the mountain and, and take a, take a animal from from the forest. Okay, that's I guess a my, big tradition. Very good. I, I I guess my question is, what do you think about hunting? I don't like it. You don't like it? No, not at all. Just just for fun. No. If you want, if you are looking for fun, just watch TV if you want fun. <laughs> but not going to kill some okay. creature that have no idea and it's innocent. Okay. Any other opinions? Yes. I agree with Seba. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. Ismail. Uh, I have some uh, friends who want uh, hunting. They are liking too much if they are uh, going to hunt. Uh, I am not a hunter, but uh, if I uh, listen, uh, if I am listening to my friend, they are uh, talking with uh, really uh, energetic and uh, different job. Okay. So um, here in can I can I please? Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, maybe uh, some people uh, sick and uh, need a heart or uh, some organ. Uh, that's uh, not give us the uh, not give us the right to kill another people and take their heart uh, to the sick one. So it is the same point of view, uh, I think. Uh, uh, when we need some materials that uh, not give us the, not give us the right to kill uh, the animal also okay. they have right to, to live. Yes. Yes. Uh, there are a lot, of, a lot of species that are in in dangerous of extinction for example elephants okay. tiger and I, 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 I think that's a good a, a bad idea to, to hunt this type of animal <coughs> Because uh, mm, there are a few quantity of uh, this type of animal, uh, they show show not uh, to be hunted. Hunt. Okay. Yeah, and I think most of those animals are protected, right? They're protected by law that they shouldn't be hunted if they're in danger of extinction. What about Thank people? You. Yes. You remember of the the king of Spain hunting elephants? Yeah, in Botswana, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was all so awful. World. Yeah, all over the world, and the the king of who who are is right next to you, Nate? It's some, oh, oh my God! Oh. <laughs> it's our guest star, Mrs. Wait. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Wait. Hello. Hello. She's Hello. curious to see what nice we're doing here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Really nice to yeah. meet you. <laughs> Nate is always <laughs> talking about you. <laughs> I hope it's good. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, always it's good. <laughs> it's so, so in love always, with you. He says that you always have right. Oh, thank you. Do you know what? He always talks about Brenda and Sebastian. <laughs> That's Brenda right there. <laughs> you guys are characters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are ninjas. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Happy, oh, happy New Year. Happy New Year for you, too. <laughs> they have another name, Sebastiano. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she wanted to make sure I was really working and not just playing around. I think. <laughs> <laughs> like so it is woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I almost do that. <laughs> well, hey, I have a question. Um, one more thing about hunting, and then we'll go on to some other animals. What about yeah. people? Do you, do you believe it's okay if people hunt if they're trying to 
get animals to eat for food. So I uh, here I want to add something. Here in Denmark, there is some people they hunt for fun and they have a license to to hunt. But if they catch you, you are hunting uh, or you are, you go to fish uh, without a license, you have it. You be in trouble. So, oh yes, that is called. I'm going to type the word for that. That's called poaching. Poaching. Poaching is when you hunt or fish and you don't have a license. Okay, thank you. I'm learning new things here. That's good. That's why we have class, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, all the animal that we eat first uh, has been killed. <laughs> Yeah. That's has true. Be, has been hunt, hunted. It is normal. Yeah, that's true. I I have uh, this is what happened to me. I mean, I'm going to answer the question first. I think that some people have the need of of hunt uh, for eating, and and they 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 live in in farms, and so so I'm I'm saying that just hunting just for fun for me is not okay. But if you if you have the need, yes. uh, it's okay because you're not doing it because you're mean or you're bad. You are doing it because you have to. I mean, right. it's for you. It's um, for your children, for your family. So there was there were one time. They I, I I'm, I'm never I will never go to to go fishing or hunting. But one time my family go to fish to fishing and and I say okay I'm going to. I'm I'm going with you. Uh, I, I, I have to say this is so much fun. It was so much fun, <laughs> but it, it was it was it was like a, a dilemma for me because right next to me there was a guy who was fishing like I don't remember twenty thirty fish, and he said, "Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the, all these fish, and maybe I'm going to." To kill them and and I'm not going to do anything for with them, but what we are uh. going, but, but what what I I was doing and and my my cousins and father were doing, we were fishing because we are we were we are going to eat that fish, you know. Right. I have a comment about that, Sebastian. I I just yeah. put a phrase on the Verbling chat. Uh, in Western United States. Fishing and hunting is a very big sport. I don't, I don't do it, but there are the majority of the people fish and hunt, um, and they have something called catch and release for fishing. And what that is is they will use a hook that doesn't have the barb on it, and so it doesn't harm the fish as much. They'll catch it, carefully take the hook out, make sure it's okay, and release it into the water. Yeah, and so that's that's called catch and release. I, I think it is very hard to see how how many people uh, hand uh, hand a Leon, for example, and take uh, take uh, take his head and put in the in the, the room, yeah. for example. This is very was. hard. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. You know when they keep I mean? the animals for trophies. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for, for me, it's very terrible. It is. Yeah. In Spanish, like with the. I don't know how can I say toros. Bulls. 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 Okay, in Spanish, the people do that with the bulls. It's terrible for right. me. I saw I saw uh, some of that uh, in a cafe in Madrid once. They had yeah. a lot of bulls on the wall and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, I, I want to jump back so we can look at a couple more animals before our time expires. This is our time is going so fast. You're doing everybody is doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Wonderful students. Uh, I'm gonna skip me. Okay, here's one that looks really crazy. I think that one's weird. Oh, but I want that. Is this, it seems so cute. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like a, um, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta tell you the truth. I hate I hate monkeys. They, oh, you're like saying it. monkeys? I was looking on the other one. I'm looking at number ten, the red-bearded titi. Oh. I think he just jumped. 
ugly. Eight times? <laughs> yes, I did. I skipped one. I skipped okay. one. Okay. Yeah. We're on slide number 10 now. Okay. And I think that one looks weird. Why don't we give somebody else a chance to read a little bit about him? I want it. <laughs> okay. You've got it then, Naike. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, red bearded titi. <laughs> okay. okay. The red bearded titi is a small primate discovered in the Colombian section of the Amazon rainforest in 2008. Unfortunately, the story of the discovery is not all happy. As it appears, uh, the adorable bearded little things are critically uh, endangered, with an estimated surviving population of less than um, uh, 250. The red bearded titi, like many primates, shares a surprising number of uh, characteristics with humans. One such characteristic is that uh, they mate for life, an uncommon habit in the primate world. A typical couple has a baby every year, and males are responsible for a majority of the infant care. Couples have often been seen sitting together on three branches with tails inter interwind. Oh, thank you very much. So much love. Yeah. Yes, they're very loving little primates. Okay. Any questions about that? Uh, some any of the words there? Uh, what is branches or oh, branch? Branch is a part of a tree, like rama. Ah, okay. Um, uh, intertwined. Intertwined would be wrapped around each other. Okay. Thank so you. they sit there with their little tails. I think it's kind of like humans holding hands. That's up their tails wrap around each other and they're just friends there on the branch. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of those. You do? Well, uh, there's yeah. very few left, so... That I can... Yeah, I know, but... Okay, I'm okay. Now I don't want. <laughs> Wouldn't it be sad if you had one? I mean, even if you loved it, you had it, and then it died. Why do you think that? Sounds so tragic right now. <laughs> no, I, know. I just say. I just say it's just kill my monkey. No, I'm saying if you had one, it would be a, it would be a big responsibility because there are so few left. So. I think it's better to let them be in the wild, probably. Yeah, but it, yes, but it, would, be, it would be my dream. You know, there are some people that have monkeys for pets. Uh, yeah. That's something I would not want to do. I don't like monkeys, so... I don't I either. A, like a, I never have one of them. Like a pet. Even when I go to zoos and things like that, I don't really like looking at the monkeys. <laughs> I just... Sometimes they just make me angry. They're just <laughs> why? I don't know. Because they are so they say stupid dirty. things to they you. So... <laughs> you never what... saw a monkey. They are so. Uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the, uh, I understand why. Uh, go go ahead, Manuel. Uh, the the human race uh, come from the monkey. <laughs> oh, that is what yes. some people believe. Uh, okay. Uh, I I don't like the monkey. <laughs> I don't know. I just mm, they're just no, no, annoying no. to me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, everyone, uh, everyone has yes. the preference. It's normal. That's right. Yeah, everyone has their own preferences. <laughs> Scotty, did you want to say something? Uh, yes. Uh, some monkey uh, bit my uh, uh, my mother uh, uh, finger. Uh, oh no! Yes. Did uh, it was it was so dangerous, oh. and they, they lost a lot of uh, blood. Oh no! Did she get sick? Also, did it get infected or anything? Uh, uh, no, um, uh, we put perfume immediately and uh, uh, take some uh, medicine injection. Oh wow! Uh, yes, very fast. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I have to say, for example, uh, about the monkey, there are a lot of uh, medical researching um, from the monkey. The, the, the doctor that is the, 
and the doctor use the monkey to to make a new medicine, new, new type of uh, uh, medicine. Right? Yeah. We have the we have the ninety nine percent of the DNA like a monkey. Yes, that's true. Yes. That is true. We are the so same. May I speak? Uh, may I speak? Sure, go ahead, Essa. Uh, okay, about monkeys. Uh, monkeys <laughs> are very interesting and very funny creation. So, uh, they, and I think they have an ability to repeat our action, and I, I like I like that. And I don't want I don't want to take it with myself because monkey is a troublemaker. <laughs> yes, they are, I think they are troublemakers. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to go on, but has anybody seen the movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Yes, I have. Yes. I have. Yeah, yeah, see, you got to be careful. Those monkeys, cool. They're going to cause trouble. Clever. <laughs> While, we're <laughs> While we're talking about monkeys, let's go to slide 14. This one's... <gasps> I want that. You want all of them. Because I love animals. Oh my God, it's so cute. And the name. <laughs> I love Lasula, the name. Uh, Lasula. Um, this one to me almost has like a human type characteristics in his face. He looks homeless. He looks homeless. Yes, like <laughs> asking me, for food, asking for help. Oh, he looks lonely. so human. I don't like it. To me, he looks like he's bored. He's, he's just lonely. sitting there. Oh wow, nothing's going on. I'm bored. Of, of course he's sad because all of you are, are, are saying, "Oh, we don't like monkeys. We hate monkeys." <laughs> of course he looks sad. <laughs> Poor Lesula. I love you, Lesula. Let's read about this Lesula. Whose turn to read is it? Oh my God, it's from my country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really? from your country. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody want to read about him? Micah? Uh, who said that? Me? Uh, Omar, I can read. You? I can read. I read. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Ismail, we'll let you do the next one. Omar, I think, is going to read this one, okay? Okay. The Lizola is remarkable, a new species of the African monkey we discovered in 2007. It was discovered in the Democratic Republic of Congo and is the second new species of the African American discovered in nearly three decades. The monkey was first seen by non locals in 2007 by John and Teresa Hart of Yale University's Bill Boy Museum of Natural History. In the home of the, a primary school teacher in the town of Opala, the most visible characteristic which makes the Lhosa so unusual is uh, it is its strangely human face. A slightly less obvious characteristic are the bald patches on the monkey's head quarters and the genetic, uh, genital region. Both of which are colored uh, variantly. Okay, so they also noticed it had a, a human type Anybody face. Uh, can I help you with any vocabulary? Mm -hmm. No, they're obvious. Sorry. Okay. Anyone have any questions before we move on? I want to make sure that um, that we have time. I promised Ismail that he could read. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to choose another one for our friend Naike. Let's go to slide 18. Whoa. <laughs> to me, this one looks very dangerous. Do you agree with me? Oh, anyone called me? Uh, Ismail, would you like, let's read about this one and then we'll have a little time to talk. <laughs> we have a dog in a class. 
<laughs> Which one they, I have to read, Nate? Uh, Whose dog is that? I couldn't hear. Okay, Ismail, let's read uh, slide 19, please. Okay. I have already mentioned a number of recently discovered animals from Indonesia and I would gladly wager that this is the most terrifying of the lot. The Megalara Garuda, also known for good reason as the king of the wasps, is an enormous wasp officially discovered in the Mekonga Mountains on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi in 2011. Average males are about 2 inches in length and have an elongated mandible similar in size to their forelegs. Not only is the Megalara Garuda massive and demonic looking, it's also venomous. The first specimens of the wasp were collected on an expedition to Indonesia in 2030. However, the first leaf specimen was captured and documented just last year. Much like many of other rare species, deforestation and other environmental impacts pose a threat to the well-being of the species. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, go ahead, was there a question? It's terrible. Yeah, it does look terrible to me. I, I would think it could, uh, it could cause problems. You know, here where I live, a lot of times there are in the summertime there are wasps. It's about like this. They're not so big, but um, they bite people. You know, if you go near their hive, they're kind of like a bee, but they go and they bite, 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 and they can be dangerous. They're not very, not very good. And that one reminded me of a big wasp. So. And they're so and, annoying. Yeah. And what do you get in and you can't really do anything about it, you know. They if they're there, they're there. And uh, you can't Yeah. They're so fast it's hard to get rid of them and stuff like that. Um I wanted to finish um asking you, these all these animals were recently discovered. Um how many more animals do you think might exist that are not discovered yet? A lot of them. Billions and billions. A lot of trillions. The Yeti Tr is from somewhere. <laughs> oh, Yeti? Okay. <laughs> I think only a few. Okay. Uh, Ismail okay. thinks only a few. Okay. No, uh, I think I, I'm thinking. God knows. Okay. It's, uh, there are getting to be fewer places where they could be discovered, that's for sure. But um, oh, I yes. think that in the ocean, that it, it probably is, is, is the is the place there. Another word. Mm -hmm. In the marine floor, there are a lot of species yeah. that uh, the we don't know what what can what can they how how, how they live or where they live or we don't know nothing about the about they. I, I think in the deep of the ocean there is another world. They are yes. not discovered uh, yet. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I, th I think on the other planet there are millions of animals uh, which are not discovered. Okay. Who else believes that? Do you believe there might be other living things on another planet? Could be, could be. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you know, they they may be different than living things here, but that's a no. possibility, right? Yeah, like with three legs. 
The, the problem if you want to discover life, you, you have to, in, in other planet, you have to travel millions and millions of kilometers. And there is no time to, to go there. Yeah. Yeah, That's the distances are immense, aren't they? Yes. That's you true. You have to travel very, very fast to, to go there. Um, how do you think humans are doing uh, with their with their interactions with animals? Do you think humans are good with animals, or do you think we need to do better? Uh, awful. We it's have awful to do it better. Doing. What would you What would you suggest? Good animals. Problem is that as a society, we don't take conscience about sometimes what or how or what we do impact the environment so it's not going to be easy okay for example when when the the the, the human race uh, fish there are a lot of uh, out of fish that are not good for the human race for it and this fish is devolved to the ocean, the water ocean, to the ocean, and this uh, this no is good because you are uh, this approach the this fish. Okay. Know. Any other comments before we go about animals or uh, uh, was there one particular animal you really like today or anything you want to say about an animal? Uh, yes, uh, okay. really. Uh, uh, I like uh, camels and horses, but I'm so scared of them. <laughs> so, uh, thinking me, uh, yes, uh, there is a lot of uh, camels uh, here uh, with my father, uh, all size and colors. Also, uh, oh, really? we love their yes, we love their. Uh, uh, milk, <laughs> also. Oh really? Um, I did, you're yes. teaching me something. D uh, okay. I have to ask, Scotty. What does does camel milk taste like? Milk from a cow? Uh, uh, no. No, no, no. Uh, there is no cholesterol uh, in the milk of a camel. Uh, also, it is uh, it is like a medicine of cancer. Uh, really? Yeah, yes. The urine of camels uh, and uh, put with uh, mix with the milk. It can be uh, uh, medicine. Yes, of course. You can read about it. <laughs> I'm writing this down. I have to do some research. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're not joking, are you? No, no, no. I'm not joking. No. Sebastian no, has a, a rat. No, it's not a rat. What is that, Sebastian? A gerbil. A gerbil? Oh. That is the English name. Oh, don't show that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> can you see it, Brenda? Can you no, see it? No, 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 don't show me Close that. Close your eyes. Okay, so I'm still writing down People camel milk and <laughs> urine <laughs> is cancer medicine. I don't know if I would. I don't know. <laughs> Scotty, do you have? Do you know anybody who's used that and got better? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. You do really. Okay. I won't say no because I have never heard of that. So I can't. I think it's important for everybody. We can't say no if we haven't studied it. So maybe. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, here uh, in our religious also. Uh, uh, there is a uh, prophet Muhammad says so like uh, yeah. uh, this okay. medicine. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for sharing that. I appreciate it. Come. Thank you. Well, my friends, we are already done with an hour of class. I need to turn this class off, but the next class that we are going to have is, in my opinion, uh, another very interesting class. And I hope to see every single one of you so that we can continue our conversation. Thank you so much for this great hour. It's been great. Goodbye.
Thank Bye. you, teacher. See you around. Bye. 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 Nice Bye. to meet you all. Thank you. <laughs> awesome.